Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will teach you how to convert a 12 volts to 14 volts alternator into a 120 volts AC generator. Now we all know that an alternator produces DC but in this video I will convert that DC to AC without using an inverter. So as I told you in my previous video that at the back of an alternator there is a rectifier or a voltage regulator so what will happen if I will remove that rectifier okay so let's remove it so guys uh, this is the three phase rectifier with a built-in voltage regulator okay so I've removed it now all I am left with are four terminals from the armature of the alternator one two three and four these three are for the star phases and this is the common neutral as i told you in my previous video now there are other two terminals this is your positive terminal for the brush and this is your negative terminal for the brush that is going to feed the rotor inside okay so guys i will be using a 12 volts dc adapter to activate the rotor or the field of this alternator you see these two terminals are the red and the blue this red and white wire will be connected to these two red and blue wires to activate the rotor inside this alternator okay so i will show you the ratings printed on it okay you can see here output 12 volts 3a meaning 3 amperes and uh, 36 watts okay 36 watts uh, so uh, maximum input that I will be giving to this alternator will be around 36 watts okay so let's do it and guys I will use this multimeter to measure the generated AC voltage by this alternator okay so uh, we all know that uh, this is a three phase alternator and this multimeter measures only single phase AC so to measure the overall voltage generated by this alternator what I will do is I will connect the two terminals from the multimeter only to one of the phases of this alternator it has three phase I will connect it to only two wires okay so the connections if we want a complete power output from an alternator there has to be three load connections one to these two terminals second to these two and the third to these two so this way it will be three times but I will be measuring voltage just for one phase that is one third of the alternator although the voltage for all the phases is going to be same uh, the power is going to be one third okay okay so guys uh, this is not working so instead of uh, this adapter I'm going to use a 12 volts UPS battery so okay I will be using this battery although it is really discharged I will show you this okay so okay I will measure uh, the voltage with a multimeter the voltage of the battery so as you can see that the voltage is 12.24 volts it is showing that it is charged but as soon as I will connect some load to it the voltage will fall down to around uh, 6 or 7 volts DC so guys I have connected the positive terminal of the rotor brush to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal still left open as soon as I will connect it the electromagnet inside this alternator will get magnetized okay you'll see the spark here indicating that the connection was successful you see the purple spark that is because of the inductance from the electromagnet okay so there's no point in connecting it now first I will wound the thread on the pulley of the alternator and then I will connect it to measure the overall output AC voltage indicated by the multimeter okay so this is the thread that I am going to use to wound on the pulley of the alternator Okay, so let me pull it. 
so you can see that it did not generate any electricity because it does not has any permanent magnet inside it so we have to activate uh, the electromagnet inside with the help of that battery to get some ac voltage reflected on that multimeter okay so now i will connect it yeah uh, the electromagnet has been activated and now it is really jammed really really jammed now i will quickly wound the thread okay and now you should see some ac voltage here okay you saw that it was around 8.6 or 7 volts 8.7 volts that was uh, generated by this alternator and it was ac and for the single phase output of the alternator and it has three phases and each phase will have 8.6 volts but the current will triple if all the phases are utilized with the help of a rectifier that was previously connected okay so guys now i'm going to use this transformer 12 volts to 120 volts okay so at present it is producing 8.6 volts ac now i am going to step up that ac voltage to 120 volts with the help of this step up transformer now how we have to connect this transformer to this alternator is i will connect it in the single phase form like the way i have connected this multimeter first i will remove these two pins of the multimeter okay and now i will connect the thicker terminals of the alternator that will indicate the primary low voltage high current winding to any of these three terminals okay so the first terminal i will connect to this one okay i will connect it like this it will be easier to see the second one is going to be this one because it is visible from the camera point of view okay I think uh, the wire is falling a little short I have to extend it okay now I will use this wire to extend uh, the terminal output the terminals here okay the second wire will be this one i can also choose this one but not that one because that is the common single phase i will use this one because it is visible from the camera point of view as i said before so uh, the primary has been connected the high current okay okay so now i will connect uh, the meter terminals these uh, red and black pins to the high voltage thin winding side to that place i will connect uh, the uh, terminals of the multimeter to measure the stepped up voltage okay yeah i will need some pins okay so uh, the positive pin will be connected to the red terminal and the negative will be connected to the blue terminal yeah okay so the multimeter has been connected to the high voltage side the low voltage side of the transformer has been connected to one of the three phases of the alternator that are coming out from the armature and the terminals connected to the brushes feeding the electromagnets will be connected to the battery one terminal is already connected now all i have to do is connect this terminal and wound the thread on the pulley of the alternator and it will start working Okay, so first I will mount the pulley with the thread and then I will connect the second terminal of the battery. Okay, so yeah, I have wound the thread. Now I have to connect the second terminal. Okay. Okay, so watch the meter screen. Go. You saw that it was 88 volts. 
since uh, the voltage on the battery is really low otherwise i would have easily achieved around 120 volts although i would try i would like to give it another try and this time i will pull it a little bit harder okay okay so i'm ready now let's do it okay go you saw that it was 109 volts ac okay so guys now i will use this 100 watts 220 volts bulb now because the bulb is 220 volts so it is not going to glow at its full illuminance since i'm going to use a 120 volts transformer sorry 110 volts okay so what i will do is simply connect uh, the terminals of the uh, from the socket of the bulb to the high voltage side of the transformer and remember that the generated voltage is ac since there is no rectifier at the back of the alternator okay so the terminals of the bulb have been connected now it's time to connect this terminal and wound the thread on the pulley okay so this is complete two now i will connect this to the battery Okay, go. So guys, as you saw that it produced 110 volts and it lit up this 100 watts, 220 volts bulb. So, okay guys, that would be all about uh, today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. Please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe. Also, if you have any queries, you can ask them in comments. And... Uh, See you in the next video. Thank you.